Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael from Hustle Sheets and I just want to walk you guys through a video on how to group columns. And this is a pretty new feature from Google Sheets, um, but it's really cool and helps you kind of organize your sheet a lot better. So the idea is that you can have, you can group columns and then you can easily just kind of toggle a this button over here and then you can um, open or close it. Uh, before we would have to kind of highlight a column and then hide it and then you, it's just not very good for um, for like a user interface. Um, so I want to give you guys a few examples of how to use it and how to do it. So let me show you how, how to do this. Okay. So I'm going to, first I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to remove the group. So let's say I want to group these columns over here into one section, right? So what I would do is I would highlight all of the columns and then I would right click anywhere where, um, anywhere on these column letters. And then you scroll down to group columns F through K. And then now it's going to group it at the at the first column to the left where I did not highlight, right? So it's going to be like this. And then so what I added here was kind of like an extra column where I can have like a title column, but even this isn't really isn't really necessary. So um, but it makes it look a little bit better. So I can so if it's closed, I know okay this is where the bot is. Um, this is just kind of like a spreadsheet on books. So you can kind of do it like this, and then um, I did it for this section as well. And then you can also do kind of subgroups. So let me show you guys how to do that. Um, so let's say I want I want to be able to expand this, right? But then I want this section of notes. So there's a column here with the ship date and the notes, and I want this kind of hidden unless I choose to expand it. So within this group, I can just highlight it, and then I can say group columns P through Q and it's automatically going to create like a subgroup. So if I open it up, this will be closed and then, and then it'll show notes. Oh, whoops. I highlighted the wrong, wrong one. So I want to hide. So if I just want to group one column, for example, just highlight one column and hit group. And then it's going to automatically look like this. And if I ever want to remove a group, you can just right click it and then you can just click remove group. And um, if you have a bunch of groups, you can all, always just right click it and say collapse all groups or expand all groups. So this is a really great way to kind of organize your sheet and make it look a lot better, especially if you have a ton of columns and rows, right? So um, this is one way of doing it. The second way is you can also do it by rows. So a lot of times uh, people put in their data by dates and then they want to section it off by month, right? So the way that you can do this is you can have a column for month and then a column for your date. And each time you finish with the month, you can just basically just group all those months together. So for example, if I just finished up with February and then now I want to do March, right? So I'll put in March and then I want to start putting in data for, for March. Let me make this March and then let's say there's all this data that I'm kind of filling in. And then um, once I'm done with it, once I'm done with that particular month, I can go in and just highlight all of this and then hit group. And then now it's going to be grouped by March. So I can just close the ones that I'm done with. And then for the, um, I can close this. And then for the next month, it'll be April. And then I can start putting in data over here and just kind of keep it more organized this way. Um, so that's a good way of doing it. Another, uh, another way of using it is kind of if you want to section off different categories of columns. So here, this is like a calculation uh, tool. And these are all the multipliers that they're doing. This is the price category. And these are the actual prices. And it's just a better way of keeping things organized and um, easier to, to look at. So yeah, this is a great feature. I'd recommend you guys um, implement this in your sheets to keep things more organized and just more visually appealing. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions on how to use it, and then make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.